Okay, grade 12 college prep physics. We are going to, I wanted to start just with you trying a question. I'd like you to try it on your own um, and, then, and then compare your answers to mine. Um, I'm going to guess most of you won't do that. You'll just look at my answer, but it'd be good to know if you can do it yourself and make a prediction on these answers or at least how you would do it, right? Uh, but we are going to learn about power. So these questions, uh, I'll take these up first, then we'll do the power bit. So pause it, to try the questions. You'd make me so happy if you did. And, uh, and then I'll switch the page and we'll check out the answers. Okay, I'm going to assume that you did that question yourself and now you're going to see if you got the same as me. A couple of things about this one that I thought were tricky and that's why I chose to, to do the example. We're looking for kinetic energy. That's easy. Um, but the key things are that the, the mass was given in grams. It's just a tiny little thing. And it's speed, which is that's really fast, but I think I actually looked that up. That's how fast they can go, um, was in kilometers per hour. So the things you had to do when you're looking at your data then was to take the mass and divide it by 1,000 to get kilograms. From grams to kilograms is a divide by 1,000. And the speed to get from kilometers per hour to meters per second, you divide by 3.6. Okay? So after that, it's an easy question. And the little thing doesn't have very much kinetic energy because it's, it's just a dragonfly. So even though it's going pretty, really, really fast, it's small, small mass means it's not going to have much energy. Okay? And then there's the elephant, on the other hand, is standing still, but he's got a huge mass. The thing is, because he's standing still, he doesn't have any kinetic energy because the speed is zero. So zero times, if you look at the equation, has V in it, speed. Speed times anything is zero. So the whole thing is zero. You have to have motion to have kinetic energy. Okay, moving on. We're looking at power now. Now power is, it's a rate. It's how fast something happens. It's either the rate of doing work or the rate of using energy, which are really the same thing. We give it the symbol P for power, and the unit is watts. Careful, it looks like work, doesn't it? It's watts. Or you could say joules per second. They mean the same thing. Okay, so a watt, like if you think about a light bulb, ever look at a light bulb, it's always watts. 40 watts, 100 watts, that's a pretty bright one. 80 watt light bulb, that sort of thing. So the formula is two different formulas, right? Work divided by time, or W divided by T. Just making sure that the work is in joules, and the time is in seconds, or change in energy over time. Kind of the same, because remember, work is the change in energy. So depending on what you're given, if you're given energy, You'll use energy. If you're given work, you'll use work. Either way, they're always joules. That doesn't change the unit. And the time has to be in seconds. So just an example using that formula. Well, it's actually using a couple formulas. We say the wargs have a mass of 620, it's a warg, by the way, 720 kilograms. Um, it accelerates from rest in 9 seconds. So first find the work. Well, look, writing down my givens, here's the information I have. If I want to find the work, remember, if you're, it's like the Legolas question. If you have um, two speeds, which is zero, right, and 11, and 11, and you've got a mass, you can use the um, work energy theorem to find the work. Okay? So you find the work, and then to find the power, you take that work and divide it by the time, which is 9 seconds. Okay? So 4,168 joules. Um, depending, you know, you could call that... Um, oh, my bad, not joules, watts, <laughs> watts, 4,168 watts, and then I could say, sometimes you see things written in kilowatts, kilowatts just means a thousand watts, so you just divide it by a thousand, that's where that came from, divide by a thousand and round it, that's all, okay, so sometimes you're, if you do any of the questions, it might be, the answer might be reported in kilowatts, and that just means watts divided by a thousand. Okay, moving on. Again, if you need more time, please pause. Okay, in this question, uh, Sam uses the elven rope to lift Frodo up from the ground to a height of 12 meters. It takes five se 15 seconds. So how much work does he do? So when you're lifting something, right, the key word there is lifting. When you're lifting, that means you use MGH. Okay, so it's Frodo's mass times 9.8 times the height. So there's his, there's his work. And then... Power is work divided by time, so divide by the 15 seconds, and that's how I got the power. Okay, so take a second to write that down. I'm moving on, though. Please pause if you need to. 
actually that's it that's it for our work our power so it's pretty easy eh that's it for today maybe try some questions or definitely do the power of a physics student go run up and down the stairs and find your power